Hey, good night. Welcome to Walk and Talk. Motivational moment? Not. It's actually Talk and Sip. Let's go. Hey, Daryl, how are you doing? The first one on the show tonight. What's going on over there? Why may I use the cost dinner? When are you gonna touch down back a yard? So what's going on? Chopper John. Natural beauty. Living it up. As a matter of fact, when I start my show, I start with a drink, yes? Uncle style, but Uncle Rupert is normally go straight into some hard liquor. You guys drink hard liquor, you know? I'm just going with some wine, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Because tonight is talking sick, so therefore, what we do, we um, we drink chop on media. Chop, what's up, sir? What's going on? A yard, so much things going on. A yard, you know what I'm saying. Well, it's a Saturday night, Saturday the 2nd of October. We're getting on down into the end of the year. I think we may have Christmas this year. Never had Christmas last year because of the, the COVID one. One that tried to mash up the plans of many a man. Jabbish. Well, go on, sir. Hope you well. You know, let's have a conversation tonight. Let's talk black history tonight. Yeah. October the 2nd. October in the UK is black history. In the United States, it's uh, it's February. But we, we have it over here at this time. Yeah. Let's get this light going. And um, let's talk also travel. Travel and COVID and Jamaica. I'm gonna try to get Jenny Jenny on tonight. Jenny Jenny at five o'clock or eleven o'clock my time. Hopefully, all being well. Talk about their business. One one of the things that I want to do is to uh, give an opportunity to talk to persons about their business. You know. Moving away from <coughs> all the the lots of negatives which are around there, you know, lots of negatives that we what should I say? We are not really we, we don't have to delve into these things, you know. You know, lots of negatives that we don't have to delve into, you know. Because negatives tend to flare up by itself naturally. Naturally, negatives flow. We don't need anything for negatives to come. But what we've got to do is to somehow navigate the terrain. Yeah? You know? We've got, we got to navigate the terrain and to try to find some positive stuff. Try to find some positive news. Try to find some empowering news at this time. 
God's word is going crazy. One of the things I was saying this morning when I was walking is that the C, the O, the I, D, slash, 19, came to kill, steal, and destroy. And at the same time, we are seeing that the world, people, governments, are pitting the people against each other. And by pitting the people against each other, they are destroying the people at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Destroying the people at the same time. I find that very um, wrong. I find that very concerning. And I find that very disempowered. You know? To disempower people, to empower nations. You know? And sometimes I think that the, the, the COVID-1 will take its... Sorry. Will, will, will take its flight and fly away and yet many will hold on to the remnants you know it, it, it reminds me of when you're in a relationship yeah relationship is over the girl is gone the man is gone but you're holding on to it trying to save face and I believe in a way that what is happening is that the world has gone on a particular tailspin and because they have delved in so deep, they find it hard to pull back. And it's sometimes like, you know, we always run this joke in the Christian circles that sometimes people blaming the devil for things. Blaming the devil for that and blaming the devil for that. But really and truly, the devil is actually saying, it wasn't me. It must be shaggy. It is just because of that person and their selfish ways or whatever like that. You know what I'm saying? So, the world, you know, we've got to, as people, have to stand our ground and to make sure that we are not divided from our families. We are not divided from each other, but we actually hold strong and we know where we belong. Because I believe that the world somewhat is lacking of effective and strong leadership. Tell me if you believe what I'm saying. Lucky. Hey, Gwenton, how you doing? Hey, Miss Campbell Swaby. Awesome, awesome, Miss Campbell Swaby. One night is going to be your night where we're going to discuss your business as well. All being well, if you want to come on. They are labeling people. Yes, label. I see people dying these days, which normally would die. Because people normally die. Don't people normally die? Yes, I'm sure you agree that people normally die. And... In the process when people die, normally, they die, they pass away. Mm -hmm. But now when people die from cancer, for whatever, they put at the bottom of the article, they weren't back. They were back. And I'm saying, hang on a second. So we are now split in the middle between the Jews, not the Jews, the black, the white, you know? We are just being ripped apart, torn apart. And I say, no, 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 no. We can't afford to be a pawn in the hands of them that try to control us. We can't be a pawn in the hands, you know? So ladies and gentlemen, talk and sip. Let's have a drink. Tell me what you're drinking tonight. And Terry Keys, you're invited to come on the show. Gwenton, anybody's invited? I'm going to have, um, you know, different persons coming on tonight. Hopefully Jenny Jenny. You know, definitely at some point later. I'm going to have Kareem Jamal who's going to come on at some point. Talk about black history. Yes, it is Black History Month in the UK. Black history in the, in the United States. It's uh, February. We can turn on this music now. I think we've got it. That music is courtesy of my South African bro, which is uh, Mr... Tater Cash, Tater Cash all the way from South Africa has given me the full copyright for this music. Nice rhythm, nice flow, and just set the tone for a wonderful evening. Two hours of talking sip, you know? So, Terry Keys, you're on the list tonight if you want. Um, as well, I'm gonna do something different. I, I wanna get my, 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 my clarity. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this tonight as well. 
um, let me just stop this now yeah let me see um, can you hear me clearly let me know if you can hear me clearly give me a, a, a shout out um, Gwenton if you're around Chopper Media if you're around you know um, let me know who serve is around um, if you just give me a, a shout out if you can hear me clearly let me know if you can hear me it was uh, let me see what this is it was a plan depopulation you just sort of Ziggy what is Ziggy Zaga Ziggy Zaga Zaga Waga <laughs> oh sorry I'm reading and I realize that I I don't have on my my glasses <laughs> just sort of out of Ziggy you know get this right get this right it was a planned depopulation hmm that's interesting people say oh stop talking conspiracy blessed is clear you know the interesting thing about all these conspiracy thing I, this thing big 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 on my big on my ear yeah the interesting thing about this conspiracy thing is that lots of the things which were deemed to be conspiracy they tend to be true now and I'm sure that for many years we have seen things which were deemed to be conspiracy many years ago they are now deemed to be true you know and um, it makes you wonder is it that some have foresight for the future you know some have foresight for the future and they see but those who are caught up do you know what I found the other day you know I thought and I heard of this thing herd immunity listen to this H-E-R-D herd immunity what does that say to you think about it for a second what does herd immunity say to you it says to me hey you're a cattle hey you're gonna be led you're like a sheep you're all in a pack and you're gonna be with the cowboys on the outside and waboom you're gonna go critical thinking something that we speak about a lot Critical thinking is something which is lacking and it is something that we all have to to know and all have to be ready for, you know. Um, this is. So yes, so let me know who want to come on. Um, sheep, yeah man, sheep, that's what they call it. Sheep, sheep, sheep. <laughs> Others, others. I say, oh, 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 oh. Wilma Perky will say, oh, 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 you know? So, guys, tell me what you're drinking. Tell me what you're sipping um, tonight. Um, and let's let's get a roll, let the ball rolling. I, I, I must say, though, um, there, there's, there, there was a sad thing which happened in the UK regarding Sarah Everett, the lady who, who, who the police killed, um, you know, doing, her, doing his job, but not his job. But hey, let me just say hi to the goddess, Vita. Hi, how are you? Good evening. Oh, you can't hear me. Can I hear you? You're not hearing oh, me. Oh, no. That means, that, means that, that means to say this doesn't work then. It doesn't work. I can't hear nobody. <laughs> no, you're no, working. Can you hear me now? Okay, hold on, hang on a second. Maybe it was me. Can you hear I can hear you, but it seems you can hear me. Wait, hang on. Can you hear me? I can hear you, but can you hear me? I, I can hear you. I, I, I thought that this, this microphone thing was working, but I think it's not going to work. I was trying to be funky tonight, man, but it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's not funky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm gonna when 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 Ka when when Karim comes on shortly, I'm gonna ask him because we did a test earlier and I, and I could swear that I had on the mic the big thing in my head there, you know. But how how are you doing? I am doing great. I am having a drink again. Okay, it's okay. Uh, again. Crown, it is my Crown Royal whiskey. Okay, you guys showing off then. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's just my drink. So, cheers, brother. Yes, yes. Cheers, cheers. My, my, um, my, my dear cousin is on, and um, awesome. And he's from Ochoa, but he's in the states, Daryl, and um, 
his father, my uncle, these these guys are very good with with handling their liquor, you know. Unlike me, I just stay safe and just have a look at thing there, you know. <laughs> That's that's what they said. Jesus turned water into wine. Oh, you know, well, not Jesus, because we celebrate him every month. <laughs> and my my father, when 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 he, when he, if he goes anywhere, he likes when I'm around with him because I get to pull his shirt tail and get him to leave fast because he always because. <laughs> everybody's trying to buy a round of drinks and sometimes he want to get away but he can't get away so I, I pull his shirt tail and he say the boy I want to go the boy I want to go I know <laughs> the things that we learn as kids um, as adults we use them same way if I'm on a date and I don't and I want to leave I always tell my girlfriend call me or text me and tell me something happened so I could leave so I'm not being rude that's so only rude that was rude that was totally rude. No, we don't want to be rude so if something happened then we <coughs> That 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 is rude, dug on out of order. Well, disgusting. I could also, listen, totally not, disgusting. I could also say I'm not enjoying this date. You are very boring, so I'm gonna yeah. leave right now. So you're but, being British, British, British polite. <laughs> so I'm being polite. <laughs> but, but yeah, yeah, they, yeah. Go on. Sorry. The, the black history um is is interesting to me because mm. again they separate the black people one way or the other in England. Yes. Black history, the black people celebrate their month in October. Mm. In, in, in the United States, it's February. Mm. But Jamaica follow whatever the other countries are doing. Jamaica should not be celebrating any black history month because Jamaica should be celebrating being proud and black 365, 24-7. So you're saying Jamaica celebrate black history month as well? Yes, but my friend, hello. Is, is, that, is that someone that's in a um, disclose that's zero zero seven or zero zero eight? Ka Kareem, Kareem, hi. Okay. I, 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 I think as you came in, she just got quiet. Like she was going to say something and you, 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 you scared her, Kareem. She just stopped. <laughs> I saw her face popped up. But, um, you know, as I was saying, welcome, welcome. I hope you are drinking something with us even if it's a bottle of water that you're staying healthy well, it's actually spring water with fruit juice okay great sure. spring water food. well let, let me just um um <laughs> ladies ahead. and gentlemen this is kareem jamal he's a multi-award winning historian a musician playwright and um uh, he's coming on tonight to talk about a play that for black history month which is starting very shortly but also i i said let me start the stage for for this month of october um, talking about black history, what it is. And also the, the essence of him is that he's a musical director, multi-award winner of musical play, Black Heroes in the Hall of Fame, writer and director of the abolitionist, the story of David Walker and co-director of World Wind and the Storm, spirit of the truth, Mayors. And, and one of the things also what he's done, and um, I think I have it here, but he can explain if, I, if it slipped me. Um, it's about this play, which is called The Voices of Black Folk in Unexpected Places. The Voices of Black Folk in Unexpected Places. Welcome, um, Karim. How are you doing, sir? I'm good, so well, thank you. Thank you for the oh, invite. Thank you, thank you. But before we go any further, um, you, you're saying something, um, Vita. Uh, yeah, so I was saying how we are separated in the sense of... Um, you would think that as world leaders and you decided that of all the 400 years that what the black people have been through, you're going to give them a month. You're going to take 11. You're going to give them a month, right? Mm. You would think the leaders would agree and said, okay, whosoever did it first. America is have given their black people February. Let's just go ahead and said, okay, we'll do February also. Do you mean, so they do, all do, can do you... celebrate together. That would ah. be so they all can celebrate black together. So I celebrate February <clears throat> as a mm. black person, and then now in October you're celebrating um, Black History Month. It doesn't make sense to me. As far as I'm concerned, I am black 365 days. So that's another way of separating us. And um, that's, it, it, that's yeah. mm. going to start now because um, after the gentleman speak later, I have some books I want to share, and this is one of the books that separating mm. us not just started now. Because this book, um, The Willie Lynch Letter and the Making of a Slave, told uh, we were separated from the black man and the black woman mm. was separated um, to be 
the type of independent, live without a man, dependent white man, and then break the, the black man. And that's yes. something we need to start understanding ourselves and each other and that um, we don't want a month. We don't want nothing. <clears throat> we already know that we have 365. And yes. yet we are using it to um, empower. We need to use it to mm. empower the younger ones coming up as far as what needs to be done. Let me let me bring in um, uh, Ka Ka Karim. What, what's your take on what uh, Vita just said, especially about the separation of in the month of February and in October for different countries? What's your take on what she just said? It's neither here nor there. I think we we do Black History from January to December. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, nobody gives me a month to do anything. Mm. I take I take the months I want. So we don't know. You have to wait for anyone to designate a period of time for you to celebrate your history. Just do it. You don't need permission. Be the minute you fall into the, the regime of falling in what they are designated for you, then, you know, then that's your fault. You see, v fault. yeah, Vita, Vita yeah. I, I tend to agree with um, Karim right there because I'm one of the persons who always say that every day is black history for me. Um, and I always talk about that just because the powers that be give us something that is falling in line with this thing called the labels. The label. When I first came to the UK, the first thing that happened was that I came off the plane. I was an ethnic minority. Then I became a black and minority ethnic. Then I become a BAME, right, Karim? <laughs> and all, these, yeah. all these different labels put in. And I just, I reject that. I'm just silver, straight out of Ochi, straight, you know, and thing like that. But, but Karim, but, but what about the point still at the same time? Because you and I, we are liberated and we are critical thinkers at the same time. But you've got lots of people, black people with impressionable minds that what yeah. Vita said about the, the February and also the, 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 the October, people feel like it is giving us something. Well, I don't, I don't, I don't think, well, they are giving us something. They said mm. to you here, yeah, celebrate your history in February in America, mm. celebrate your history in England in October. Well, I'm just saying simply, you know, I'm celebrating my history all year round. Yes. You know, we do these things, you know, we put on plays, we, I do lectures all year round. I'm not waiting for anything. I'm just, you know, mm. I'm just doing it because I can. Yeah. And so can you. So, you know, we don't need to wait or get permission. Well, well, well tell us, tell us about your, your project. And, and uh, because you're, as you rightly say, 365 days full on, mm. the, the, the Trichology production presents, you know, the Africology, my apologies, the Africology. Give, give us a, a breakdown of what you're about. Um, so so Africology mm. is what other people call black history. So yes. we've made it a science of an ology, mm. the study of our history, ology, not just to call something black history, I don't think gives it the magnitude it deserves. So um, it's a little bit so, so, Sorry, sorry, Karim. When, when I came in with you earlier today, we did a test. Did I have that big thing over my head? No, I didn't see anything over your head, sir. I, I, didn't, I, didn't, have, I, didn't, have, I didn't notice. I didn't notice. I didn't notice. Well, you would have noticed it, so I guess maybe I didn't have it then. Okay. I guess no, it's only think... alone have that funky stuff. I haven't got access to it, but I, that's another major mind. Please carry on, sir. I just interject there. Yeah, yeah no, so African colleges, as I said, was what people call black history. So, um, so it's a study of the African phenomena mm. wherever and globally. Um, so, yeah, we, we look at everything. And you, I remember you, I heard you mention earlier on, you know, about conspiracies and you know population control eugenics is the, mm. is the term that that is uh, uh, rightly used in that, in that context and yeah it's been it's, it's a long term thing it's not it's nothing new this has been you know people like benjamin franklin were talking about the world being overpopulated in 1802 mm. and it was only just over 1 1.1 1. 1 or 2 billion in, on the earth so even then they felt that the world was overpopulated so this is an agenda that's been around for a long time thomas malthus the malthusian dialect you know these things. Uh, this is the benefit of history. See, when you when you when you study history, you know these things. So what people call conspiracy is yes. facts to you because you know. It's interesting that natural beauty was on, and she talked about depopulation when we're talking mm -hmm. about all of these things which are happening. You know, uh, unfortunately, yeah. Karim, there are certain words that sometimes we we <laughs> we we refrain from using on on these media platform, which we okay. are we are we are. U utilizing <laughs> you know okay but 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 still yeah tell us more tell us more about your, your journey and, and i'm interested about the three six or five days whereby mm. how your work sort of transcend um allowing the powers that be to give us 
but how you transcend in going through every every year, every day, in 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 educating us, and eventually into the voices of black folk, black folk, which is a play which which is launched in the UK eventually, shortly. Yeah. So, so the play is just an extension of the teaching. Mm -hmm. Because not everybody can can sit in a classroom or in a lecture or on Zoom for two hours and and listen to me pouring out facts after facts. Mm. A lot of people, I mean, uh, are studious in that way, but not everybody can do that. So we use drama as an alternative means to educate because some people, you know, our people like to be entertained, right? Yes. <laughs> so I just simply use entertainment so people can also learn as a byproduct. So you see, the, you see the characters from history come to life on the stage, come to life on the stage, you know, and then we have a QA and a at the end where people can ask any questions they want about the characters they witnessed, which they probably never heard of before or heard mm. of and didn't know they were black. Uh, like can, can you give us an idea of um, because when it says the unexpected places, the voices of black folk, you're talking about real true events. Give, give us an idea of something that we don't, which we think we know, but we don't know, or something that we don't know, which you're going to tell us now. For of course, we want just you want us to go to the show still, but you know. Well, I mean, we, the voices of black folk is a series, so that's the overarching subject matter the voices just means the presence of okay so we use that voices to represent as a euphemism the presence of mm. black people everywhere unexpected places the strap line just means they're where people are not expecting to see us yes so if you take one of the characters like on the queen philippa who was you know queen of england 1328 and crowned in 1330 mm. in a coronation with edward the third you know no one knew this. They may have known her name, mm. but didn't know who she was, you know. But history tells us, and we know from my research and studies, and you can see that the description of her is a lady who's brown of skin all over, to quote the direct words used by Bishop Stapleton. So yeah. these are things that history throws up. So all these characters, um, another one in there, you have Septimius Severus, a Roman emperor, born yes. in North Africa, you know. Fascinating story because he becomes emperor by defeating two other Africans, and they are the three main protagonists, you know, fighting for this title of emperor, and they're all Africans. Yes. You know, where have you ever seen that? This is real history, you see. So this is the fascination of it. It's beautiful. You can get to reveal these things to people and, and, and act as a catalyst for them to go and study and find out for themselves. That's what we're trying to do. Mm. Ignite a spark in people. And, and, and so, uh, Vita, you want to ask us? Wow, I, I'm very mm. impressed. And... Um... You know, I want to say thank you for that, for educating us, because I'm just going to show you as far as I grab all my black history books. Um, just a, mm -hmm. It's just a part of all the books I, I read. Um, and to okay. know that there are so many more, there's so much stuff that we need to, to, to know and learn. I know we're in a pandemic. Are you thinking of taking this outside of the United Kingdom? Well, you know, um, yeah, if, you know, these things are, are quite expensive to do. And if, you know, we, uh, we've been on tour before in America a couple of times, other projects we've had in Jamaica, we went to War Theatre. Oh, wow. Big project. So, you know, and the people come out and they, they learn and they're fascinated, they come again multiple times. So that's the beauty of these kind of events. You know, it's a family event. Mm. You come with your grandmother, your grandfather, you, you know, your grandchildren, your, your wife, your husband, whoever. Everyone can come together, you know, and everyone can learn together. So yeah, uh, we have to take it anywhere because our objective is to teach the people and, and all people, that is, everyone. Do, so, no, do, do you think that um, uh, uh, natural, beauty, natural Beauty just said something, you see what we as Blacks don't know, that they, the Europeans, studies us, everything that they come up with, us Blacks are the inventors starting from the traffic light. Um, do you think that Black people lack the knowledge of our fundamental history okay. from us. We, we, we get a teaching from them, <laughs> their history to us, you know? Yeah. I mean, you know, most definitely, if, you, if I give you an example of Malcolm X when he was mm. a young boy, his name is Malcolm Little. He's in school and the teacher says, Malcolm, what do you want to be when you grow up? And he says, I want to be a lawyer, sir. And the teacher said to him, well, don't be silly. I won't use the word he used. I'll just say black. Mm. He said, black, black boys... Don't make lawyers. So he's crushed his aspirations already. Mm. Yeah, because he's a teacher, he's supposed to be the knowledgeable one. 
So as a young person, I'm going to absorb what I'm being told by the teacher, right? Because he's the person there with the knowledge. So if he tells me I can't do something because black boys and girls don't do that, mm. yeah, then my aspirations are crushed automatically, number one. However, if he had known his history or his history had been taught him, what Malcolm could have said to the teacher was, with respect, sir, have you heard of Mack and Ball and Allen? Right. In 1812 became the first black lawyer in the United States. Right. So you are wrong, sir. I can be what I right. said I want to be. That's the value of history. So therefore, what you're saying is like a lawyer using the law with the judge, the, the statutes, the precedent to say, actually. Yeah, precedent, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Precedent, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. It's proven. precedent is what has gone before. Yes. It is. So therefore Absolutely. it is. Okay. That's mm. yeah. Admissible, right? <laughs> yes, yes. So, so, it, so it's very interesting what you say, because as you, as you rightly say that uh, a young boy, a young kids go to school, the teacher is up there, they see that teacher, the parents, and we the parents would <laughs> say, listen to your yeah. teacher, you know, of listen course. to your teacher, you know, that's what we get in it, Peter. listen to right. your teacher. In the yes. UK, of course, well, listen to our teacher in the Caribbean, we know that those teachers mean us very well, because we're all black. Yes. <laughs> but in the UK, we say, listen to your teachers. And of course, those teachers can be of a different <laughs> thinking. And your child now goes to school, listen to the teacher, and hearing something from home, and the teacher is actually contradicting what they hear from home about black history. Now, yeah. how, how do you deal with that conflict? This is great. Because if, if they are good teachers, teachers should welcome challenge. Yes. Because if you're a good teacher, then mm. you, that's debate. Mm. So, but you have to be able to substantiate what you're saying. So if the young person is taught properly, you know, at home, whatever, and you can back up, that's an engagement that you can, because that teacher has had the same education that he's gave, given them. Mm. Mm. They're sometimes all equally ignorant of our history. They don't know either. Wow. You see, so they, they're teaching what they have been taught also. Yes. So it's fascinating. I, I mean, when we've done these things, we get all kinds of people coming to the show and they say, oh, you know, I didn't know these things, you know, and they go away. And these are people who are teachers, professors, whatever. So they just, you know, they're just uh, eating what they've been showing themselves. Wow. So uh, w welcome, ladies and gentlemen, official Instagram, Jabish and everyone. Thank you for joining. Um, we're talking with Mr. Karim Jamal, who is the, the director play written and directed of the voices of black folk in unexpected places and um black history month is what we're on now so we're just um having a discussion here you mentioned that uh when you have these plays and they come up mm. to you and they say wow we never heard that what happens next do they just go away or you point them to some books or some reference or something that they can keep filling that emptiness of their knowledge which they they are not open to, or is it, is it up to them now, to dig? Mm -hmm. well, yeah, well, certainly that is part of it, because I can't, nobody can make anybody do anything. Yes. <laughs> you know, you, you have to want to do that. That's number one, that's a starting point. So that mm. we call the spirit of inquiry. You must have that spirit of inquiry to take something beyond what you already know. So yes, it's up to them. Secondly, we would encourage that. Mm. So we have after college lectures, come to the lecture. Next step is, if you were interested in it, Here's the lectures we got on, you know, come on, let's, let's keep this going. Here's the website. Here's some materials you can read, you know, and, you know, we can only do so much. So as long as I ignite something in you yes. and you can perpetuate that, that's all job done. Right. So, 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 so you're like an ignition switch. <laughs> no. Catalyst, yeah. Yeah, I, I get it. Vita, you want to say anything before I go and ask well, him? I must say that I haven't, mm. um, seen the your players yet um hopefully mm. when the pandemic i could come to london and watch it because that's where my family live um but right now you have ignited something in me because now i'm going to do more <laughs> research and the queen that you just mentioned and those names so those mm. are situations that um you trigger something and we're very fortunate see more um mm. Bernard, say mm. that yeah. growing up in jamaica we were never told mm. that there's limitation oh. Our teachers mm. were, were of our sta same, um, you know, skin color. So we were taught there's no limitation. I'm doing it. You can do it. And you're supposed to do better than me. So that's a lot, mm. the, the, the privilege um, of growing up in Jamaica as far as with the education that there is no limitation. So I must say, mm. wherever that DNA um, passed down to us in Jamaica is something that we are very fortunate as Jamaicans. You know, Vita brought up something there about the limitation factor and the no non-limitation. 
um, the, the, the children in uh, growing up in the UK, and and yeah. that can be a challenge, isn't it, for black yes. people? And in America too, yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, can, can you sort of break down a couple of that that challenge there with with someone growing up a black child growing up in the UK? Um, understanding their roots, the, the the stigmatization, the whole issue of uh, institutional racism. Some say we are in a post institutional racism, as you know that report that came out recently. Uh, oh because God. because this is what Black History Month started. To, you see what happens sometimes, um, Karim. You know this. It's like all wounds always open back at this period of time, isn't it? Yes. And, yep. and, and then it's like we need to sort this. We need to sort this, and it seems like I look at deja vu as if we haven't moved on. Would you say, I know I said a lot of ago, but would you say that there have been moving ons in the sense that we have gone stronger and stronger in knowledge of ourselves, or is it still a strong battle? Yes. Um, well, there's a lot of that to unpack there. Mm. Um, <laughs> yes, of course we're moving on, but I think sometimes we don't have the right perspective of history, so we're expecting things to happen overnight. Mm. I mean, these institutions have been set up over, you know, hundreds of years. The system has been set up over hundreds of years. It's been refined and referred and, and developed and improved. So we've gone from um, imperialism where we see standing armies in countries enforcing their will upon the, the, the populace there. Now we've gone, what we have now is systems. Systems are king. That means I can control your country from here with a system. I don't need to be present mm. in there. So I just need to have my ideologies present in your place. So all you're getting is what my teachings. Yeah? Yes. And that's what's happening now. So that's what we've got. So we don't have the kind of oppression we used to have before where we're bound with chains or we're physically restrained by soldiers and armies, standing yeah. armies. What we have now is a system, which is even better, mm. which infiltrates our thinking so that our thinking is, you know, is, is what binds us. Yeah. So the message they give us, Thinking limitations. I can give you limitations by by what I say to you, as we yes. just talked about before. Yes, yes, yes. I can give you limitations by what you read in books, and so on. and that's what's happened. So yes, we are ignorant of our history, very much so. Mm. You know, um, but there's no reason to be anymore because we have so many tools to access now. Lots of access to learn. Yeah, to learn more and more about ourselves. T tell us about the plays now. When, when are these plays now? Um, if you can break down more information for people who want to know the, the play, and then we're going to talk about how you're going to get this play on virtual or whatever like that, so people can see it from their living room. <laughs> um, tell us about well, where the play is now. Yes. Excuse me. So yes, we are opening next week, Friday in the Theatre Peckham, the eighth and the ninth. So and there's a matinee on the Saturday as well, the ninth. Yeah. So just so that's the eighth and ninth of October. Mm. Peter Peckham which is in Havel Street. Yes. In Camwell. Camwell. Okay. You've got the okay. fire there, so I think you. Yeah, yeah. You the fire there, yes. So. Yes. Okay. And then we move okay. to then we move to Birmingham. Okay. Yes. Stop. One, one second Stop. there. One, one second there. I'm getting an echo from. Getting an echo from. Jody. Jody. One second. You still hearing an echo? Yep. Hello. So. Uh, no, we're not, we're not. There's no echo now, right, guys? Hi, no. Jody. No, okay. Hi. No. Hi. Hi, Jody. Good evening. How are you? Hi. I'm hi. not Jody. so bad. Great to see you Fantastic. guys. Fantastic. What are you drinking? Are you... I just had a bowl of soup, so I'm oh. just having water now. I had okay. a bowl of red pea soup. I had some chicken soup not so long not ago. Sure so. Oh. <laughs> anyway, before before we go to Jody and. and Let's just carry on. Um, so, so for the record, for persons who want to actually tap into the play, October the 8th and 9th at Theatre Peckham, um, Abel Street, London. Doors open at 6.30 p.m. Showtime, 7.30 p.m., 2 p.m. matinee. Uh, box office there. I, I'll post it. It's on the, For those who don't know, there's a Talk and Sip Facebook page and Like page. So you can actually, it's already posted there as well. So that is London, eight to nine. You're also going mm -hmm. somewhere else, isn't it? We're going to Birmingham the following week, yes. Is that, is that Nullfield Theatre, yeah? Edmonton? No, no, no. Oh. Birmingham Theatre is the Crescent Theatre. 
Okay, the crescent there. That's the 14th and the 15th. Correct. That's right. So where is it? October the 20th and 20th. Oh, that's Edmonton. You're going to Edmonton. Edmonton. Right. And, le and, and ladies and gentlemen, the, the prices are London, 20 pounds. Birmingham, 15 in what is why, why is London twenty pounds and Birmingham fifteen? Actually, we know that's that's <laughs> April, so it's they all fifteen. Uh, oh, it's fifteen. Oh, London is going to say London's I more affluent, aren't they? So yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, that's great. And, and and what is what is, is this the first showing? Um, no, 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 no. Like I intimated before, it's a series, ah. and so I change and juggle the characters. So I'm always exposing different people to. To the audience. So every time you come, you learn something new. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, Jody, I, I don't know if you're listening. Have you got anything to say to Mr. Jamal? Well, I, I saw your preview. Um, I went, mm -hmm. you know, I clicked on his name and I researched the thing. And I was listening just now. And, um, you know, I always say that the education of the black people is something that has been limited by textbooks, by what they told us, even in the history I learned in high school. Um, what we've learned is limited based off what people thought we needed to hear. And um, I'm always researching. And um, it wasn't until I was an adult that I knew um, that, <laughs> let's, let's, let, let's listen to this joke, that I knew that black people were in the Bible that I knew that um, black people were among the elites in history. And I'm talking like early 20s, you know, I'm learning this for the first time. That's what last That year. I learned that. Like, <laughs> oh, thank you for the, oh, thank you for the compliment, you know. I'm sorry. You know, I, thank you. I, I, I'm thank you. sorry. I was in church today. Oh, thank you. And a young guy thought I was 29. <laughs> Me was 29, <laughs> you know. So what can I say, you know. <laughs> um, <Carry on. laughs> yeah, and I, I learned there were black empires and all these things. And, um, you know, the, the lesson that we need to learn is that our race has been a race that they've tried to cover up, that they've tried to hold under their... I think it was Vita, was it you who put up this video with this lady? What was her name? The one from Africa um, that said they took everything from us. I'm under the influence right now, so but I yes, <laughs> yeah, you were the one who put the video up, and she was very, she was very to the point. She says the whole world has taken from Africa, and Africa has gotten nothing back. Um, I tell people I'm two hundred percent Jamaican because I'm one hundred um, African as I am one hundred Indian, and a lot of people don't understand that because. Mm. Um, my family is strongly mixed. We have a set of our descendants from Africa, and we have a set of our descendants from India. I mm. personally, Jody Marie, I represent two distinct cultures, one that came here at sla as slaves and another as indentured slavers, um, servants, right, to do the same thing, work on plantations. So the mm. impact that enslavement that um the power of control plays in my family is huge because not just my black four parents were slaves but my indian four parents were also misused and so i have a great sense of dealing with a lot of mental emotional things that when it comes on to black history i said yes the black part of me, when I say mm. the black part of me, and I don't want anybody to say, think I'm saying I'm not black. Mm. The black part of me has a lot of things that I've seen in our history that has come down to this very day. The things that still enslave us mentally. The Indian part of me does the same thing because it still exists in our Indian culture here in Jamaica. Mm. No, the Jamaican part of me is different. <laughs> because together, no, it's the truth. And I don't think people understand understand how, when I get to this point, what I'm saying. Mm. The Jamaican <clears throat> part of me is a free Jody Marie. Kantangarang, ready, rebel. The, the, the Jamaican <laughs> part of me is a free Jamaican. 
because mm. I have learned to appreciate both my histories, but mm. then I was born Jamaican, not African, nor Indian. And so as much as I have so much of the history that comes together, the Jamaican culture in me is one where I have to understand the Jamaican history and how black Africans or our system deals with us because to some extent, the Indian side of me gets more mm. privileged than the black side of me. Right? So, it creates this kind of love-hate relationship Jesus. with when you see things in politics that are not dealt with properly. When you see how they try to use the, the, the government systems of other country to run our country and then has used it for years to enslave our people mentally. It annoys me because the Jamaican side of me is saying this should not be because mm. we should have overcome this to a point where we are ruling and we're not still being ruled. Mm. That's very interesting. Because we're, yeah. we're still being ruled by systems that were not set by us. Yes. And at this point, yes. we should be above that. That's what I moved and that moved beyond the point of still being governed by laws that were set up yeah. for slavery yeah. versus laws that should be set up by us, us that are liberated, us yeah. that are free people. And when I say that I am free, it's not that I'm saying I am above the law, mm. but just understanding that we should be not ruled by a system, but we should have gone above the system. D and so that <coughs> is where it yeah. creates, yeah. it creates a lot of friction for me internally yes. because I think as black people, as a cultured people, and Jamaican is very cultured. I don't know the, dyna the dynamics of an African mixed with any other culture creates yeah. something beautiful. You know, any culture yeah. you go into. You know, there's two, right? Yeah. There, there, I want to stop it there because last week you came on, you had a problem with your Wi-Fi thing or whatever like that. You came in and you dropped a bombshell and you left and we took that and take it on because that was really powerful. You have just, you have just lodged and deposited something again. And I, I, I stopped you there because I didn't want to lose those couple of things that I want to put to Kareem. Kareem, J Jody said mm. something a while ago about the free thinking Jamaican that is the one that is that gets her free. There are times Jamaicans sometimes will say, I'm a Jamaican. They, they mean they're African still in it, but they always say, I'm a Jamaican. I'm not, I'm not from Africa. I'm a Jamaican. J Jody just sort of identified that point there because she's born in Jamaica of you know, two different Indians and Africans, but the Jamaican side stand up, meaning, meaning that A, we should be on top of the game. B, we should not be accepting the systems that we have taken over from those who enslave us, which are still in place. That's what she's actually saying. How do you sort of work out that? There's a lot right there, isn't it? First of all, mm. uh, you can see the internal turmoil that we are experiencing, the trauma mm. that people have been through, that, that creates a psychosis. Yes. I don't mean that just I mean it's it's a mental thing that we are struggling with all of these identities. Now we got to set aside nationality. Yes. And ethnicity. Two different things. Yeah. When we start holding on to these labels, uh you, Jamaican and all these things, yeah, then that's a separation, number one. Because we're fragmented then. You see, um, mm. None of those islands are independent. None of us are independent. No island, no, there's no black independent anywhere. Right? Because we're bound by economics. Yes. The minute you <clears throat> borrow money, you're a slave. In the land. Wow. Yes? Because when you borrow money from these IMF and World Bank and so on, they're also telling you they have caveats. So you won't even know all about that. Yes. Which is how you can spend that money. Now, where do you ever borrow money? And someone says, you can spend it on this, but not on that. Mm. So what they're doing is trying to destroy your infrastructure. 
So the things that you naturally produce, your, your GDP, whatever things grow naturally in your, on your, in your land, in your country, you're importing. So if you're importing things that you naturally produce, what would happen mm. to the people that produce those things in your land? Mm. They go bust. They're destitute. Wow. So you're not producing your own things. You're importing stuff because in the caveat, the money you borrowed, they told you you can't produce that stuff or you can't lend money to those people to produce those things. You have to import it from us. I see what I'm saying. So, so when we have leaders who are borrowing money because they feel that like they need to develop countries, when you have strong leaders that come about, they don't get the support because it's so hard to sell a vision to people. Mm. If you're hungry now, you want to be fed, right? Yeah. A vision is talking about 20, 25 years, 50 years in advance. You're not business with that. You're dealing with now. So yeah. it's very hard to sell a vision to a hungry man. You see, hungry man wants something now. And that's the problem with that. Wow. You know, um, I don't know if you guys remember. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Silva. No, no, I'm just reading um, official Instagram. So I said, hello, that creates a psychosis. I like the way you use that word. Obvious when you think about it, but that is a nice angle. Instead of suffering psychosis, the psychosis is created exactly. I'm just incorporating viewers. I'll go ahead, Jody, please. Um, just, yeah. Can I say something to you? And just remember what you're gonna say mm. because it, just before Mr. Jamal mentioned psychosis, is that I I'm hearing what you're saying, and I have this book and it said emancipate yourself from mental slavery. And yes, what mm. I saw is that you are fighting like you're fighting between two personality in the sense of, and I understand what you're saying because I grew up in Jamaica. And I was the black child who was overlooked or the black employee that did not get the job. So I understand that. But if you could take it back before slavery to a more spiritual level, whereas um, there was only one race. And, and, and if you look at the black race, the powerful race, the kings, the, the queens of that time, who used to rule at that time, that, and that book I'm reading right now about a history before um, slavery. And if you can look back at that, the spirituality as far as mm. um, how great you were before that and not look at whether you're an Indian or a black and don't look at race when you're looking at you, just that one powerful person and not look at you as a black or an Indian person. And if that is a situation that you're fighting with, but you mentioned psychosis, it's something that you need to look at more deeply. Oh, thanks, Vita. No, I was talking about in my 20s. Oh. That's how I felt. Oh, okay. I thought, I thought okay. last year. Last year. Okay, okay. Last year. I tell you. <laughs> I tell you, the liberation of the mind is a beautiful thing because mm. I'm the kind of person where if something pricks my brain, I'm going to research it until I get it right. Okay. Um, and you are reading two wonderful books, by the way. Oh, yes. Um, Amazing. Amazing. I like to do flip through covers. Like, I will see the books and I like to flip through or find it online and find summaries. Anyway, I'm a, I'm a nerd, so I'll probably do a couple of books all at once. But what I was going to say before is, um, what I was saying before is this. Uh, I don't know if you remember when we were talking about the impacts of what happened when we, when we first went into shutdown, um, lockdown last year, right? I brought up this point and, you know, something you said just now just brought it back to me about the enslavement through the system and how they've set up mm. the systems. Um, when Jamaica was in lockdown last year, I said this before, for the first couple of months we were in lockdown, Jamaica came very close to sustaining itself mm. to the point where yes. Jamaica was doing very well on the world market and the stock exchange. I remember a flag flew um, you know, on Wall Street and all of these things. And we were in lockdown and we were able to feed our people. Mm. We were able to take care of our people, keep our people safe mm. until we were pressured into opening up back our borders because they expected Jamaica to open back their borders so that, that we could import things you know, we could take things from other country. That's the real reason why they opened back our borders. Just so we could have foreign exchange into the country, right? Mm. That's all they wanted us to do. And what happened once they opened our borders? 
we went right back to square one in a couple of days. We took four months. And we were ahead of a lot of leading countries in the world. Four months. And it took us less than a month to go back to square one. There's something I don't want to miss along the way. Vita, can you write your books them down inside the, the chat? Because people are asking about books. And we'll yeah. have to put those books on the, on the social media page, the YouTube page as well. I, Sorry, no, on, the, on the Facebook page later. But people yes. are asking. Um, Kareem, so, no, no. Jody, finish what you're saying. Kareem, have a look at that question which I pinged for you. Somebody, which one? Is it? Somebody left something there. Elder, can you ask the elder? I have a read of that. Jody, finish what you're saying while um, Kareem look at that question to, to respond to yep. Jabesh. Jody, sorry. Yeah, she's frozen. sorry. You guys she's went out. Yeah. Yeah. Can we you can, guys hear me now? We can hear. Yeah. We, we can, can hear you, Jody. Yes. Okay. Sorry, I don't know what happened. I think I lost connection for a while there. You're good now. Yeah. I couldn't hear you. Uh, so, I don't remember the last thing I said. <laughs> All, right. All right. I was just trying to uh, busy find this connection. All right, no problem. Let, let, let Karim, you want to pick up on what Jabesh said there? Yeah, uh, so the, the, gen well, the person who asked the question there is uh, asking about the origins of people. First of all, I uh, heard... Uh, Young lady say something before. There are no races. That is a 18th century construct. Yes. Just, just justifies slavery. Yes. So let's me, let me let me break it down. So we have a man named uh, uh, Johannes Blumenbach, mm -hmm. Carl Linnaeus, Benjamin yeah. Rush. Benjamin Rush, one of the sons of the American uh, um, Independence Declaration of Independence, said that uh, he, that black people should be should be given a double portion of sympathy. Because uh, blackness is a disease which he called Negroidism. Yes. Mm -hmm. He believed that. And he believed that this Negroidism could be cured. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And it was, it was only skin deep. <laughs> right? <laughs> and he's a physician, you know, and this is yeah. the kind of nonsense pseudoscience yeah. that these guys put out there that is accepted by the great unwashed and uneducated people because they are not being educated. Mm. So if somebody who is trusted as a as a, an authority, an authoritative figure, puts that stuff out there, then people absorb it because they're not educated. So this is kind of this is how these things become entrenched in our society about races. There's no races. There's no mm. race. Every, <laughs> there's no. There's only one race. One. You know, even amongst black people, the, the question there it says Al Kebulan. Al Kebulan is uh, what um, Afrocentrics use for the continent of Africa. Okay, even within Africa. There's no typical black man. No such thing. You know, you go into Ethiopia, there's 80 different tribal groups. Yes. 80. You know, you've got Nilotic, Nilotic type of African, which is the, as it, the name suggests, they are from the Niles or anything from Egypt down to Uganda. Mm. Everything in between. Which are tall, generally tall and slender. Mm. Then you have the interior, you have other you have what people call pygmies, or it's a pejorative term, it's not, that's not their name, yeah, which are much shorter. You go down south again, you get all these different looks. Yes. Mm. Hundreds of yeah. dialects and languages, tall, yeah. small, short, high, you know, you get everything. So yeah. there's no typical <clears throat> black man, so don't let everyone pigeonhole black people as if everyone is the same. That's, uh, all right. that, yeah, that, that's very interesting. Let me just invite, um, hey, Jabez, so, good evening. How are you doing, sir? Hey, King. Blessed love, blessed love what, to all the people. What, what are you drinking, sir? Drinking or, or smoking? You, <laughs> you, know, you know, we eat the medication, <laughs> brain food. I'm just drink, I'm just drink some nice ice and ginger tea, you know? Mm -hmm. All right. B before, before I bring, before Jabish comes in, um, Kareem, you mentioned something very powerful there, and this is something I always say. You said that there's no race. You say within, it, is it Ethiopia you said? There are 800 different tribes. Is it Ethiopia? 80, 80. 80, 80. yeah, 80. 80, 80. All, right. 80. Uh, all right, listen to this, listen to this. When they have Black History Month, for argument's sake, and the BME, you remember when they put everybody into this BME yeah. thing in the UK? I, and, I never and, used that. Either. Yeah, and they try to Respect. do policies that bring everybody as if everybody's of the same earth thinking. Mm -hmm. And I always say to myself, 
a person coming from the Caribbean have a sort of background through the transatlantic slavery. Another person coming from Nigeria or Ghana who has not been through that. Mm -hmm. um, and from Ethiopia. They have a, they have so, a different no brought up. Say, uh, sorry. Mm. Yeah, you, you, you no what I'm trying to say, um, um, Karim. Is that, yeah. so, so, but at the same time, we are told we grew up like this, and we're Africans. Once we're black, we're Africans. Um, we, yeah. we, we work together. But is, is that possible? Yeah, so more, good possible. question. The, 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 the working together as one when we're all well, different. Let me, say, let me give you two answers to that. First yeah. of all, and I know this might disappoint a lot of people, the, but <laughs> there never was a time when everyone is working together. Uh, that is unrealistic. Hold on. Don't, don't be disappointed. Right? Because <laughs> I mean, even, even within Africa, we got, you know, I said there's no racist. People go to war in the old days. Yes. Because you have resources that I want. Yes. Yeah. You got gold, you got silver, you got diamonds, you got, you got people, you got resources that I want. Not because of race. Yes. See, it's only when you come to um, sort of what I call modern history that you start to see race being mentioned as an invention of creation. Before yes. that, <clears throat> you know, the societies are filled with black, Rome, Greece, everywhere. Black man is everywhere. Yeah, and you don't hear people talking about the differences in there, you see. Mm. But going back to what you were saying about um, is it possible for people to be, to be unified? Of course it is. But not, you never get absolutes. You will never get everybody right. towing the same line. Yes. That, that has never happened, you understand? But we do need to work together to, to, to effect change. Mm. And, you know, they keep us fragmented from one another. I mean, look, look at the coalitions that, that when um, the president of Venezuela, Chavez, yes. was alive. When, mm. right, and, he was, and, sure. and so uh, Cuba. Mm. Yeah. And they were putting together this, this confederation. Um, Cuba, Venezuela, South Africa, um, Libya, mm. and all this kind of thing. You see, you see what happened subsequently, right? So they can't allow us to coalesce, you see. Yeah, but keep us fragmented because then obviously we know divide and conquer. Yeah. That's, that's, that that's, works. that's very interesting. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys for coming on tonight. Um, I've got Mr. Karim Jamal, multi award winning historian, musician, and play, playwright, and um, also is the the director of the, the play, The Voices of Black Folk in Unexpected Places, which is going to be in London, October the 8th and the 9th, Edmonton, 20th and the 21st, Birmingham, October the 14th and 15th. And you can get tickets. So we're talking about Black History Month. And of course, the great Jabesh is going to, and of course, we've got Vita there as well. Um, thank you for joining Talk and See What You're Drinking as well. Um, Jabesh, please, you, you're, you're saying. Yes, uh, blessed Elder for the knowledge. Mm. Don't know as you well, you know. Knowledge yeah. is ever, ever blessed and appreciate love. Yeah, yeah, but may I have enough question, you know, because you see something there <laughs> that really triggered the rest of our brain, the rest of your brain. Mm. Mm. The one, the first one, when you say, mm. okay, you see, there's no race. Okay, I believe that that's true, yeah. which is right, which is right. Then he says, a uh, black race, not from Ike Bulan. Mm -mm. Say again, say that last thing again. So is all black race not from Ike Bulan? Originally, yes. Oh, okay, cool. That's the fire. Okay, okay, maybe let me take yeah. it wrong. So, I think, me, but I think what, we, what, sorry to cut you, my brother. I think yes, that sir, when you mention that point, let me just make a point that black people are everywhere, you know. Mm. Yeah, man. Yeah, there's a time. When you go back, people talk about Europe as a continent, and, the, and you mention Europe, you think Caucasians. But there's a time in Europe where there's nothing but black. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And we have to get yeah. our minds around this because we're going back into prehistory. Yeah. Our mm. minds have been conditioned into this 2,000, 3,000 year business. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we go back farther than that. So, I mean, when you see something like Greece rising as a civilization, we're already in decline, thousands, tens of thousands of years now. Yeah. So there's a time in Europe where there's nothing but black people roaming that land. And that's what people need to understand. Okay. So, yeah. so somewhere, brother, so, we're, going, we're, we're everywhere. Yeah. So now, my next question is, 
when you say that they say that no elder silburn say that we, if there's a possibility for us to work together i believe it's mm -hmm. possible which is right because if you look in the times of the omel cheese it was unity that made that possible otherwise it would have never happened so you're right but you know something is human nature human nature is a funny thing you know you look yeah. at the great leaders that, that come up amongst us there's always a jealousy yeah you know that springs up because if we talk about humanity oh. now it's in us envy selfish in us. selfish mental attitude isn't yeah. it yeah, that, yeah that's I'm a right. daily fight you have to suppress that mm. you have to overcome that to be able to achieve that unity that you're expressing my brother you know because we you and i and silborn and the sister might be unified and then along comes somebody else who like a wolf in sheep clothing amongst us who appears to be with us but at the same time is working for a selfish um ambition yes judas mm. Yes, yeah. that's oh, exactly. So exactly, that is always going to be there. And um, that's the thing we have to guard against all the time. So it's ever present. To that, that, that thing stops us from being unified. Yeah, yeah. You see, because, because the book says that we as players and singers of instruments. So I try to make sure when I deliver in the musical aspect as well, that I uplift the people and I give the people knowledge that they yeah, need. Not the knowledge Absolutely. what Bobby Ranga feed, you know? So mm. that that now making me feel more empowered again, you know. So mm. one thing in England, why I want to find out if it's a reality, because my father tell I and I this now, so I want to know if it's true. In England, mm. there's a clock called the Big Ben, or the Ben. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Was it not a black man that built that clock? No. Well, black man that invented the the the, the, um, the clock the the all that invention so if you wanted okay, um, okay. 0.9 percent of what was created in the world right now was by was by as they say black people because we were labeled because black mean that of, of the lesser not good dark we were labeled but most of the stuff that was created was by us the black people okay. um our new they called us back then and, and mr jamal you mm. can go ahead and no, yeah, As yeah, my yeah. father told me, the so, blueprints, yeah. the blueprints was was from the uh, the, the black man. Yeah, no, me forgot call that. You know, and ask that if I get it. I think what you're getting at is that there the, there is a you see there's a lot of history, a lot of myth, and a lot of legend, and a lot of things that we have sometimes to sift out. You know, from what we, we were learning, so some things get bandied around. I think what you're talking about there is the fact that Benjamin Banneker. Mm. See there, it clock and, right there. And you, they, they're saying the clock's name after him, but it's only because it's mixed up with the fact that Banneker invented the first wooden clock in the USA in America at the time. See? So mm. um, there's some mixed history there going on. Okay, so well, um, well, listen, I give thanks for the listen, clarification. Yeah. Well, well, listen, Karim, listen, I, 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 we, we have done the slot now. Yeah, that was really powerful as the, the way you set the stage, and we'll have to. Oh, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be having an interview with, with Karim on Tuesday night on my, my, my formal show. This is a chill down show. <laughs> so Tuesday night on, on Facebook and YouTube, Silburn TV I'll, at nine o'clock, I'll be having a formal discussion with him as well. And it's good picking up some of these points here, Karim, and we can pick it up there mm -hmm. later. So this was just a teaser because I, I sense Karim, there's a a calm wealth and depth of knowledge that you have that we need to pick from. And one of the things that I always say about Black History Month anyway still is that if there's a fire, just add some fuel to it. So I, mm -hmm. I see it as just adding fuel to the fire. So therefore, if there's a fire for Black History Month, just add some fuel to it as well instead of putting a damp on it. And as Karim says, 365 days of the year is Black History. But if some see it as one month of the year, add some fuel to it instead of put water upon it and douse it and say, I mean, you know that one day, one, one day thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Buy a month for and, that uh, job, uh, <laughs> You see? And I want to ask one more question before, before we leave, if it's possible. Just so I know. Yes. Yeah. Just so I know, because I've been, I've been getting some, I've been reasoning with that other elder. And um, yes. mm -hmm. I want to know, 
if the elder know anything about Dr. Henderson and anything about the global reset and anything about the universal or the universal quote. I think that's for the next show, you know. Okay. <laughs> I don't right. know. We have a shot in the <laughs> dumb quick let, time. We're shot in the dumb quick is, time. We're shot in the quick time. Does the, does the elder know about Panji? Does does the elder know about Panji? <laughs> One second, Peter. Wait, sorry, say again, Peter. <laughs> What? Does the elder know? The, does the elder know about Panji? Panji. Yeah. Um, well, not quite sure. I'll spell it for me then, perhaps I can understand. Panji. I was told by elder another elder. Panji was the first, the first, of course, you know, the, the crest factor of the earth before it was mm. so called. See now how it is now. Oh, you're talking about Pan Pangea, the Greek word Pangea. Pan which is a ah, super culture. Yeah, that's why I say Panji because, you know, yeah, Instagram yeah, likes to yeah. violate the thing. <laughs> oh, no, no. It's a cold. Pangea, it's a Greek word. <laughs> super continent. That's what it yeah. is. So when the yes, we join together. Mm. Join together, that's right. Yeah. Um, yes. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, yes, yeah. I give that to yeah. Okay, Bless listen. Petula, a... ask, Petula asked this question. One second, Peter. So how can we root out the Judas that come to infiltrate our community? <laughs> <laughs> That's a powerful yes. one. Well, you have to be, you have to have um, discernment, number one. Yes. Yeah. And you have to be on your, on your guard all the time. So that's what it is. You can't drop your guard. Yes. Yeah. You can't. Okay. We've seen it so many times in the past. We've seen Marcus Garvey. We've seen Kwame Nkrumah. Mm. We've seen Anze Zikwe. We've seen uh, all of these X, great... All of them, yes. Yes. same thing yes. isn't it yes. a common theme that goes through that you know so, common thread and, and I'll Don't say one thing it. in defense mm. poverty poverty makes you available to corruption yes oh. find, find a hungry person Vita so before poverty. I need to let I need to let Kerry go so Jenny, so Jenny Jenny one can question come before in. you go one yes. question yeah. um, I know that he's poverty. doing a show um, in the United Kingdom um mm. Um, as a, as a someone who live in um, United States and also from Jamaica, Ochi, is, from Ochi, sorry, from Ochi, from Ochi, from Ochi. Yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is it your research on the play that you're doing? Is it across the board, or it's 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 stated in the UK, the history of the black in UK, or if it's a vast material? No, 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 no. Everywhere, anywhere, black people there, and that's, I, that's it. Okay. There's no, there's no UK. There's no thing. Remember, I'm going to say one thing, you know, when we use, the, they give us the language, they say that we're minority, B-A-M-E. We're, we're not minority yeah. anywhere. <laughs> oh, and so don't use this language, don't repeat this language, you know, subcontinent, third world. What are you talking about? They don't exist. Yes, you know, yes, minority, yes. Black and minority ethnic. What are you talking about? I'm not a minority. I'm a global. Exactly. Listen, listen, Bertrand. Karim, you said it there. When I go into the supermarkets and I see these it's ethnic so well, aisles, well, hold on, hold on. These ethnic aisles on the backside of a desert in the supermarket. Oh, yes. I always yeah, say to yeah, myself, yeah. I'm not an ethnic minority that is linked to some backside of a desert. I'm a majority man who's an original Jamaican right. or black man. Okay, We're the majority of this world. You know? <laughs> okay, Karim, listen. Karim, 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 listen. Thank you so yes, much for, for coming on, sir. I, oh, I do appreciate it. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, do check him out. Um, his Instagram. What's your Instagram again? Africology. T tell us your Instagram, please. Yeah. Even though, I've got yeah, so yeah. many. Uh, so it's uh, <laughs> the voice of black folk. Yes. Yeah, mama, just the follow the elder. elder. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. And, and, and also, Africology. Afri yes. And you've got a Facebook. Africology. you got Facebook as well. People can yeah, School of Africology. School of Africology, and um, check out the play, ladies and gentlemen. Check out on the this the the talking safe Facebook page and group page. You can see more information. And Tuesday night, I'll have a uh, a formal discussion. Well, this was formal, of course, because it was very deep. Mm -hmm. You know, what I'm saying with with Jabish making it very highlighted to the next level, of and of course, Jabbish, you know, exactly. Peter taking it to the next level. But we're gonna bring in Jenny, Jenny now. Listen, Karim, all the yes, best. Sir. Sir. Thank you Thank so you much for that. Bless and love, and love. And you shall see me Tuesday. Yep. May I have more questions for the eye Tuesday. <laughs> nice job, <laughs> please. I love sure. questions. It's all right. Bring it. It's all right. <laughs> all yeah, right. my questions are made to be asked. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Take care, sir. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay, so, so guys, I, I, I read... Oh, Jab oh Jab is gone. Okay. I, I find out that there's a lot of, um, a lot of questions about books and... Um, Vita, make sure yeah. you put those books up on the page I, as well. 
I, and I just want to, I will, I'll put them up. I have a lot. I have, what a beautiful lady you just brought on. Beautiful. Ooh. Thank she, you. She, she come from Ochi. She come from Ochi. <laughs> so beautiful. St. Anne. She, she is so beautiful. So St. Anne. Thank you. I like the Ochi more. Like <laughs> Your kid, Rosestone, <laughs> Cascade. There we go. Oh, thank wow. you. You're beautiful yourself. Thank you. How did everybody? How did you? Well, 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 there we go. Now, now uh, wait, let me see if Les says around. Let me see if Les says around. Les, I don't know. Les says around. But <laughs> well, let's talk around. Because these guys always, you know, Jenny, Jenny, you know the belief. I, I, I'm original Ochi Man, as you know, that your castle. And yes. just because I was born in Port Mario Hospital, the oh. man in them want this card, my Ochi card. That's all right. That's all right. from Ochi. I went to Brownstone Community College, so we all did Yeah, too. me too. <laughs> I did too. So I want to say good evening. It is good evening, whether it be in Jamaica or overseas. I won't say afternoon to confuse the issue. But up, watch all the heart, them man, murder. Murder. Me. Me send up some heart. We might hurt them. When we find them emoji, I send up my heart. I well, love me too. Hold well, on, I say, Mur murder my chasma. Hold well, on, we have to play some music for Jenny Jenny. Blop, blop, blop. Go straight to South Africa and play some nice music for you. Or is it black music? Yeah. Is it straight out of South Africa? You said dynamite. Well, you know, Jenny, I don't have those royalty no, things. No, one at Jerusalem. Na, 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 na. Hey, Mama Bose. I'm going to let him talk. Yeah. But yeah. Jenny was really powerful, the black talk. I mean, yes. you can't, you know, people like Oral Trace, who is on, on our show, he wouldn't approve of that at all, you know. He says something wrong with black people and all is at all black. Because you don't hear white people that are about white as much. But they don't have the issues we have. They were exactly. never enslaved. They were never ever told that mm. you don't look as good if it is you don't look white, then you don't look right. Mm. You know, so I, I love that we have this because it's not just for us. Me big and tough in it. Too hard for you for hurt me, you know, my skin, no, you know. Yes. At 48, you can't trouble me no more, you know. But yes. guess what? You can trouble my child who is nine years old. You can trouble a child who's five. So the more we say it, is the more we empower each other to love each other, love yes. ourselves, <clears throat> and therefore the next generation will be as empowered as we are. So I don't listen to the oral traces and the people that we say we chat too much black. I like yes. how we have problems. Right, Mr. Official, right, Elistan, every time. Yes. So we could just love ourselves and go and talk about that. So I mean, I say, I, 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 you know, Jenny, Jenny, um, in the UK, when we had the lockdown, yes. and I never forget this when the Prime Minister said, we're going to get our freedom back. And I'm saying, do they understand what that means to a black person when they say, get our freedom back? Yeah. Do white people understand that? Get yeah. our freedom back. And they, they use these words during the lockdown. Isolation. Isolate, quarantine, shield. Um, and these words, these words are, are serious but, words. But Silburn, Silburn, unlike you, I'm very happy they're using it. I love it. I want to come from a different place. Can you hear this now? Yes, it's tell not me. just black people them quarantine. Now they quarantine us in the whole of a ship. It's not just black people them quarantine. And you become back from master's name. So yes. you name Sidial because your owner did name Sidial. Me name small because my owner did have mm. something small and then me name small. I love <laughs> it. <laughs> I love it that the whole of them isolated and the whole of them get locked up because now white people <clears throat> get a sense of what lock up is. And imagine yes. it is nowhere near what our lock up was yes. when we were threading and they were threading our skin on these things to punish us. But how interesting though that we mm. have a pandemic that level the player field. So you get a chance, a little bit of prips because it's nowhere near as bad as what they put us through to see what isolation is, to see what, when you feel locked up and you need to have freedom is. Isn't it amazing that that is perhaps one of the advantages of COVID that white people get the chance to sense what black people to go through a little bit of it and it is uncomfortable. It is interesting, interesting you say that. Yeah, it is interesting how things can be looked at from different angles, you know? Yes. This is what we call, this is what we yes. call education. That's why we, yeah. that's why that, we talk and, we talk and sip. That's a whole different perspective to look at it because but, what happened is that <clears throat> they said we have been in it before, our fourth parents, it's in our DNA. So it's not as hard for us uh, mentally to deal with it, but the factor is 
for economical side of it, it's harder for us because we have been um, put in down so far 400 years ago. So mm. financially, we are not. So make them it, get a piece of it. No. Yes. Like it. Make them get a piece of it and say, it's not comfortable regardless mm. of the color of your skin. So how would you think that my wonderful brother from St. Anne and from the greatest high school could say that? I love that you put, because you never ever realize how close to truth and home that is. Make them get a piece of what being locked in and being isolated feels like. Yes. Interesting. You know, that, that's, so, that's so powerful. And, and I'm so glad that you're here with this different perspective, Jenny. We got Jabesh back. Jabesh, how are you? You're spinning. You're spinning. I don't know. If it's you're... still connecting. It's Whoa, still man, I'm spinning. I'm spinning. I'm spinning. 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 Hold on. <laughs> Fix this yeah. quick. Everything I read. Jenny, what are you drinking? What are you drinking? Oh, uh, water. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but wait, no, wait. So it's a lie. Let me tell you one thing. Stop one time. Uh, uh, it's so positive. Um, you know, it really. All right. Since it's a oh. sickness, it's no worry, sir. Ready. <laughs> ready, ready, life, friend. But, 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 Jenny, you know, one, one of the things that I wanted to talk to you about because you're in the travel business and you're in the yes. many people may not know they say Jenny dancing all the while, but you're 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 in the the travel business, the hotel business as well. Yes. And, and I want to tap into because Jamaica recently we got the the ship came to Jamaica and tourism is one of the lifeblood of Jamaica, but also. Jamaicans are also one of the lifeblood of Jamaica as well. Yes. You know, t tell us about your perspective with the COVID factor and the travel and your business. I I tell us, let's, let's go for it. All right. So, so one of the, one of the things is I, I don't understand <clears throat> the persons who are making a noise about how it is that Jamaica is closed and during a lockdown, we have cruise ship getting in there. I'm very happy about that. I'm very happy because if it is we lock all the doors, we close all the borders, what the hell are we going to eat? We're going to turn on each other. We're already doing that anyways. So I was sure. very happy that the cruise ship came. Not so happy, though, that the people who are in the craft market didn't get the chance, as they really should, to be able to interact. But you know, it's a fear of COVID. Again, you want to minimize how they do that. But I think that as long as they fix that, so the craft vendors benefit from cruise ship coming. Oh, I'm very happy. I want to big up the minister and the prime minister that we even have more cruise ships coming. I'm trying to book the cruise ships because mm. you can make a bag of money from booking cabins. You can make a bag of money from doing in terms of travel agency. So when it is that I, rec I realize, because you know we do the call center, right? Yes. So we still have that going because people are locked in. Um, people want in terms of back office support. So we still have that at Globescope BPO. So when we recognize that what was happening, I said, God, come, you got to make sure you think outside of the box now. Only the persons who don't reinvent during this time, and I'm saying it to everybody here on this platform, the 23 Live and the others who will watch afterwards. Yes. If you do not reinvent yourself, you're going to die. It's the same. Like if you marry a man, you look the same way. My God, by a week, no sin of a new week here, but just by this week today. <laughs> and it's the same, I just say, I was going to make sure I fix up my wig. Look and nice. Get going. So you want to make sure, thank you, honey. So you want to make sure that you reinvent yourself during this period of time or you're going to die. Mm. Literally, your businesses are gonna die. You're, you're gonna you're gonna have a meltdown like what's happening. And what this does for me, it is great yes. because you know me in love with Jamaica. Silver, yes, love yes. a Rasta friend. Yes, me have a love relationship with Yad. So what a great way to marry my love, Mister Official, with the love for this country during this time when people are still traveling. I don't know about you, Silver. You're the only one not at the hotel. Silver and hotels are full. Yes, Silver, yes. Since today, I have a phone dedicated to travel alone. And mm. from today alone, I've had one person wanting holiday, another one wanting Hilton too, another person wanting Hilton just a while ago, people wanting Ocean Coral Spring, and then we have somebody wanting Coppice Hotel. Are you kidding me? I'm going to tell some more Jamaicans. Yes. I'm going to chat to us a little bit. Let's take on Wait. Yes. Here, <laughs> oh. is the joke. Here the joke. Yes. Yard is not like lock up. Rust no, man. no, but mm. why you think so? We the bond down the most plantation. Why <laughs> oh, you ja. think them oh, ja. why I'm you fire think everybody is in the Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Why you think our politics is the way it is in Jamaican cars? Yard is first, it is hard to get us to be compliant. We're very 
look here, we're rogues, you know, you have to pray for we, you know. Yes. Because yeah, man. If Jamaicans don't do it, them are going to do it. By we are going to do it. Say, get vaccinated. Don't say, don't come if you're not vaccinated. Say, get vaccinated and you can watch the games. Mm. Get vaccinated and you can come. Once you tell Jamaicans don't, you're dead. Yes. So, yes. government going to lock us in now. Guess what is the nicest thing that Andrew Holden is going to do for me, the Prime Minister? Lock up the yardies. Guess what, Mr. Bird? Yes. Story. The hotels, them, Everybody the hotels come them not have capacity. Yeah, you see, tomorrow, a lockdown, yard is their hotel. Yes. The yard is not that home. Lockdown, which part? The yard is them make sure. So, I love lockdowns. Una mm. problem with me, me love because Jamaicans, if you want to get a yardy movie, tell them don't party. You know when Jamaicans party no Silver? <laughs> oh, tell. Let me tell them where they party. And, and me know government now listen. Government not depend on the 26th. No, no. So they don't tell the government. And Jenny never tell you to. I'm a justice of the peace. You know, me not supposed to know these things. <laughs> no, me so no. So when they ask them, Rasta, when they ask them, when they party them, me can't even report it, you know. Them go down in some deep river hole. Simber, the yard, me tell, the yard is them. Look at them do, and them do test. Them a man up at the top of the road. Them do test. Some go down in it and see if you can hear the music up at the top of the road. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, and that's what. <laughs> I mean. And you can't hear down in it. I mean, I mean, the most accustomed said Jenny and talk up. So we think yard is the yard is keep yeah. them party down in some river bed. So hold on, hold on, hold on, Jenny. This is this is similar to a nanny used to cook, used to do the jerk pork, and them know all about it. No, so them go, they go down, they, go down, and that is how you jerk it. Yeah, so you jerk yes. it on that ear, and, yes. and and you burn coal the same way. You burn coal the same yeah. way because you can't yeah. be back from us, you know. So guess what happened? We have a, a thriving vacation opportunity in Jamaica, and mm. what is fantastic is that Jamaicans are coming home. You notice that about three, four months ago, we welcomed the millionth, the one millionth person arriving in Jamaica, which is during COVID, which is during amazing. During COVID, yes. So therefore, we're, it's doing well. Um, like, I call a hotel because my dancers are in the hotel as well. And I say, hey, you can't tell me you can't book the dynamites because me a book and the place full. When mm. the capacity up, so come now. When you go book something, I'm glad you know, I'm married. All, all my life is married, you know. Because I send dancers, once they do well, like these ghetto children, them ghetto people there, they mash up the hotels with all them performances mm. up there. And then there's a lot of Jamaicans, so we have had to change the shows because yard is tonight. So they're at 6 o'clock. What time now? 30 minutes before lockdown until Monday morning. Yard is gone a hotel. So a hotel is thriving. It's doing well. You, you know, you know it, it's very interesting what, you, what you're saying because, I mean, the, the world is under this sort of thing called, uh, well, COVID, you know what I mean? And, um, and it's depressive. But of recent days, I mean, in the UK here, we are seeing um, people are coming out, you know, the other day. I mean, there's a petrol issue over here, but every man just petrol. Yeah. When, when you have the petrol thing, nobody no business about mask here. You think, say, man, just uh, go for petrol. That's why I'm still taking petrol. I'm just going to empty the petrol station. I want to go on with all of the long lines. Long in line, man. Third world. Long line is dope. And that's it, man. I say, I was doing a little mission with my telehandler on a, on a work site, and we was like, doing some ground works as well. What you know? We was expecting some dust from the from the um, SRC company, construction concrete company. The man called us uh, after two hours. Um, I can't reach, you know, because um, I'm stuck at the garage. There's a long queue of um, um people queuing up for petrol, and I don't know if I'm going to make it. Two minutes later, he called back and said he can't reach. Yes. Half hour after that, here the company I call us, you know, um, we just ran out of dust. The ships, the ships hasn't docked yet, so we don't have no material. Yes. This is the place around your gone on a different level, and then recently the, the boats them start coming back in, don't it? Must well, have yesterday I, I see one of them yeah. dock in. Well, I, I tell you, I've got a petrol station up the road there, and uh, the manager always calls me in advance before the truck comes, just to let you know. When you see me dancing, it's a petrol station I'm dancing in. You know? Yeah. Is but that I, bad I, over there? Is that bad for you guys over there? <laughs> <laughs> Will you come home? 
<laughs> Jenny, tell, tell, tell us about tell us about how, how when we want to come on, but Vita want to come on, what's for now? Tell us, tell us. Yeah, me can't reach, want, you know. Me can't sure reach. Well, hold on. Let me hear Jenny, Jenny, go. I just make it. I just make sure I pin it. I, 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 I think I pin it a while ago, yes. If you pin it for me, honey, I'll I love I did, I did, I did. I did. Sydney, I'm my darling. Ochi, Ochi, where you are, Where are you telling her? Why is he out telling her? Yes. Bram, bram. So here, make sure you book it. You call me at 876-220-9638. Yes, call it. And I have a phone right now anyways. So again, 876-220-9638. During the week, my what? staff has it. But guess what? Boss don't ever sleep. Boss is mm. can't sleep. and take no vacation. So when them got them, yeah, me just take my phone because you get lots of bookings on the weekend because that's when Jamaicans are not working. Start going yeah. through all the, the possibilities. So I watch it and I say, oh my goodness, that's when people have time all over the world and saying, okay, I want to come home. So I turn yeah. my phone home and I, and I work from it's Sunday genuine. to Sunday. And there's another opportunity is great as well because when you join up with me, yes. I will actually even help you become an, a travel agent all over the world. Okay. So I do have a partner. I partners in England and partners in, 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 in USA. So for those who want to know more how to be a travel agent, just send me a text or a WhatsApp to that number and I'll invite you to meeting tomorrow, which is at four o'clock Jamaica time. What time is that in your time? About seven o'clock. Uh, UK time it's um ten because six hours different. Ten. 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 So therefore oh, wow. join mm -hmm. us. Join us so we can tell you more about how to be a travel agent because the great news is that for what, but what I have I a question. I have a question. Jamaica, one, one second. One second, Jabesh. Yeah. It's a trap. I'm a travel agent, not just for Jamaica. When you want to come to Jamaica, that's fine. But we're a global travel agent. So we book travel anywhere wow. in the world. Oh. Yeah. So oh. join me tomorrow. Take that number I will. Say, Jenny, send me the send me the Zoom link. And I I'll will. make sure you come in and see how you can be a part of that. And you're going to make money. I'm telling mm -hmm. you, you're going to make money. Jabish, you saying Jabish, and then Vita. So, so if so, how it goes now? If you're traveling now, um, and uh, do you control the vibes about the isolation? Because if we have to come down there, we don't want this 14 day isolation. Now. May I run out of the yard? I'm no. gone. No, in Germany, I just love my country so much. You arrive, you test negative, you do a nice, you're vaccinated, you but Rasta, you're vaccinated. Jenny, what that's you say? <laughs> if you're vaccinated. Jenny, that's personal. What, what you say, mama? What you say? That's personal. Listen, mama. Where is everybody that walk around say personal? Wait till being like, when you? When, 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 Biden, Biden. 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 Wait till Biden ask for no. Tell Biden say it personal next month in November. When it so we're not still burning up a good and liquid joke. We're not listening. No, listen, no, we're not. So the, the church. I'm not hear everything. So the church divided in you know, part of the church says it's a mark of the beast. Mm -hmm. And worse because you know, people over there, oh no, no, are white people, are no foreign people mess up a country, you know. You know start with them magnet business. I wanna mess up man. You know, start with magnet. We don't have them, we have them gadgets there, you know. I, you know say, oh, it's reading. Oh my god, it's magnetic. Cause we don't have them business that people check no magnetic hand. You know, do that. <laughs> And Jamaican start say, what? <laughs> they not trust it. Then they start here say the penis are gonna have problems. Lord Jesus. Don't tell them that you're better in bed since you get vaccinated. You don't tell them. Tell them same way. Tell them. Tell them how it gets better than the vaccine. I walk in the in the in the bushes and I get my vitamin D, which is my jab. You know, that's my that's my job. Yes. And 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 yes, and, 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 and if anybody if anybody asks me if I'm vaccinated, I said I don't tell anybody about my pap smear test. I mean, who's it? Who's it? Pap or the smear. mammogram. Or the mammogram. <laughs> You're but let me tell you though. So mm. so y'all, whether you like it or not, you're gonna get vaccinated. <gasps> Thanks to Biden. All on the will now get vaccinated. What on the love go America? I, yes. I don't, I, 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 I'm not thinking the vaccine, you know, so that I means that we can't go travel so then. Rasta, no, guess what, Rasta? So from your test negative, as you arrive in Jamaica, you have fun, fun and frolic. There's, there's no, no, no isolation. No, no, no. no. Because I've no. been to Jamaica three times in one, it's been since, uh, 
<laughs> since COVID. I've been to Jamaica. I just came back about three to a month ago, and I was there three times. You got to join my, you have to come to my meeting. I will. Because I'm going to tell you away money. tomorrow. We're going to talk tomorrow. We'll yeah, talk tomorrow. you've been giving away money, girl. You could be flying as an agent and saving that money. Oh I'm going to talk to you tomorrow. It's done. I'm talking yes. to you tomorrow. <laughs> so so just she... WhatsApp me so I can tell you how to be an agent. Girl, you should not be paying. You can't be flying like silver. You should be flying like an agent when you fly that up. No. Yes. I, <laughs> and then I need to go to England also. And I have to visit a friend in Paris. So we need to talk. But Call anyway. Me. So the that two, 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 zero, ninety six thirty eight. So Silver, as Jamaicans arrive, as foreigners arrive, wherever you are, because I go to the hotels all the time. As long as you're negative, especially if you're vaccinated as well, mm. you wear your mask. Of course, you still practice yes. all the way. They said so they do that. So they wear the mask. Um, not in the water, of course. So it's kind of you wonder what that is about. <laughs> in the water, or just, not or, in the just water. Or, or, or driving don't. alone in your car. I guess you can't get COVID. The chlorine, the right. chlorine prevent that. So I guess so it's okay in the water. But, right. but you have fun. But they have fun. The hotel hotel scene is just so gorgeous. And the good thing about when you book mm -hmm. with us as well, we're not just booking just resort silver. And I don't want to be boxed in. We book yes. experience for the Chucker Cove, the Mystic Mountain. Yes. Dominica Republic. You book Bermuda. You book Antigua. So, you book so Mystic, Mystic Mountain is Africa. Yeah. Anywhere. Mystic Bora Mystic, Bora. Yeah. Mystic Mountain is still working. I thought there was yes, yes, no, yes, thank God it is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you can book anything with that flights to for Africa. That is so awesome. That yes. is awesome. That is really so, awesome. So, so as agents, we book anywhere in the world. So just call me up so you can either book with me or become my my business partner. Because you're the business partner, partner you benefit from that. Yeah. But, so, the, um, Jenny, somebody said the meeting will be in my class time. C can they get it on the replay? That no, they can that call me and I'll give them a one-to-one. -one. I don't joke. It's there business. Are. Listen, they, they, <laughs> so they those, are real optimism. One-to-one. So -one. Right. WhatsApp me on that 220-9638 and I'll arrange a one-to-one -one with you and make sure that you get time that is convenient to you. Can't go wrong. Awesome. And Javis, to answer your question, so when I was going to Jamaica, uh, I'm vaccinated. Um, I work in the medical field. It's mandatory for me for, to be vaccinated to be in the, to work in the medical field. Um, so when I was going to Jamaica, I have to be um, tested um, seventy two hours before I get on the flight, and okay. show within seventy two hours, and mm -hmm. it have to show negative. I did the PCR, and um, once you reach the airport, you have to show your form that you are negative. Also, you have to go on the website and request an authorization from the government of Jamaica. And then they will either, well, they accept me all the time. I don't know if they denied anyone um, um, access, but you have to do an attestation. That's what it's called. So once you go online, you do an attestation, they approve you. You print that out or, or I use my phone. So therefore, mm. I just save it. <clears throat> And when I reach the airport, I show them that page that I was authorized to travel to the country. Even though I'm a Jamaican, I have to request yeah. So, so, it so people, can't, cause people have a way of attacking, whether it be PNP or JLP, because I don't decide, because they're both my friends. I have friends on yes. either side. Um, that that we, we've been locking up Jamaicans, but then you allow foreigners to roam. But that's also not so fair, because you do want the U.S. dollars. We die with all the that's U.K. That's what a lot of people don't understand. We die with all the U.S. US dollars. Mm -hmm. So they have to think. Mm -hmm. They yes. have to be business savvy as well. Yes. So therefore, we're very happy the numbers are down. And I want to make sure I respond to that for those who are wondering if we're safe. Like, what annoys me? Dear God, y'all yes. should have <clears> done this thing. I'm going to talk my mind. Yes. It's all South Africa has pulled out of a tri-nation series. Now, the hypocrisy of that, and I love Africa dearly, is that they have more daily cases than we do have. So mm. in Jamaica, we have like one to 200. We're at about 200 per day. Africa's got like over 2,000 to 3,000 per day. Yes, it's bigger. Wow. But mm. we're talking about the fact that they pulled out of netball because they were watching our numbers. Our numbers are going down. The lockdown periods actually worked in our favor because it's less, less intermingling. Uh, you know, we're still a party. So therefore, when the place yes. quiet, you can hear the sound system them down at the gully. Right, yes. Yeah. So what happened when I was there? Yeah, what happened when I was there to Javis is that um I stayed at the hotel for the first couple of days, and of course for the weekend we have a live band. We have we party 
crazy in the hotel, you know, um, as tourists, we have to be tested and all that. Also, I just want to let people know yeah. that in the hotel, in the hotel that we stayed, they have nurses, they have doctors there. Everything. You get test for free there. Everything. Um, if anything happened, they have, they, the hotel, although they're saying that it's booked, they have spare room in case if you, um, if you attract the COVID vaccine, you it can isolate. It's, 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 it's a requirement. And by the way, so the hotels, like when I'm there doing side visit as an agent, um, the government, I mean, ministry turns up like all the time, like every week, they check the books to see how many persons, because you have to make sure, I think it's 60 or 70% of capacity that they're yeah. allowed to be at. Yeah. Mm. So they can't be full anymore. And that's yeah. exactly why. So that there yeah. can be a whole wing, just in case somebody there gets is. positive, even staff, whoever it is. So there's space for isolation. So there's it's, space for it's isolation. gorgeous. It's safe. Yes. I feel safe when I'm at the right. hotel. And so I have fun. Yeah. It's yes, so and because, because I'm in the medical field, when I went there, I want to know what's the step, what are the criteria, what steps are being taken if somebody has COVID, what do you do? So I went to the nurse's station, um, the station, and I went and I asked the question, where do I get my test? Um, if I'm tested positive, what happened? They have nurses, doctors. So in the hotel, they have all that done. They have spaces where they have you isolated. So that's that's like they have an hospital in there where you're, you're quarantine. Mm. After staying at the hotel, of course, I'm from Ochi, so I go to my house, and that's where the party begins. So... Uh -huh. <laughs> So, so very I'm, nice. As long as you're, as long as you're observing that, I see somebody saying they prefer to about black, but I thought the black part was finished. I know we're talking very <laughs> Yes, yes. Silver yes. never yes. tell him it's not for Yes, yes. A part I, I, one I, and part two. Yes, somebody yes. Somebody said I prefer to about blackness. I yes, know yes. But, 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 that, but, that, but, that, the black part finished. I know. Jenny, 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 Jenny. No, no, no. Wait, wait. Let's put it to perspective. This is about black history. This is us yes. creating black history each minute, each day, because we're yes. actually taking care for ourselves and empowering ourselves. Now, my good friend earlier, which was Jody, and Jody and said that a lot of the institutions that were for, of slavery have yes. been, what should I say, translated into yes. present with the yes. same system. So therefore, as a Jamaican, she feels that we are the type of persons as you say, Yadi, that like to come and mash up things and set our standard. And this is what Jenny Jenny is doing, which is black history. So tomorrow yeah. when we <laughs> listen to this, and next week we can hear say, Jenny Jenny, Jabish, and, um, and Vita created something which was powerful. You know what I'm yes. saying? So I, and I, so I think in a way that I know we have to talk about black history at the same time, but each day... Aren't we creating black history? No, I think I think what is wrong with black people? It's a female, a black woman, a strong black woman who is who have a business and is saying, "Hey, you too can be empowered as a black person." So, what is that black about? This? Social economics. What is that so black? What, about what, what 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 is sad? Because I'm a mm. history teacher. I'm a history teacher. I taught history at York Castle. Um, taught history at Pembroke Hall High School. History is my major. I love mm. history. I find out what is wait, wrong wait, 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 we got to talk about mm. being oppressed to talk black. No, we got to talk about making sure that we show that, oh, we got to we'll burn it down. Or we'll cost, we'll yes. We talk black by saying we can be like the man who started Microsoft. Oh. We can't be like Mr. Virgin who went to space. They don't see that as part of, mm. of, of making sure that you take your black to another level. To talk black, they think you got to talk about bleaching versus I need, I need, I need, a, I need a tambourine. I need a tambourine. I need a tambourine. Oh all the time what? I smile and what? I laugh because because the top black all they see is black and black. therefore you'll never grow you will never bloom if you don't see colors you'll never bloom. and it, it is sad too because when we talk black we also offended that a black man takes a white woman we're offended that a, a black girl dates or sleeps with a white man you gotta get out of that because the top black is the top life it's to talk yes. about making sure you elevate and it yes. means that you rise above your skin and the yes. color, then you talk life 
So we got yes. to stop talking so much black because sometimes that holds us back because all we want to talk about is that we're enslaved. I know white men In the name of this majesty. Yes. And we need repatriation. <laughs> and we need England to pay us back. Okay, I want to make a public statement in my black state as a black girl making sure that the world can book with me anywhere in the world that I do not need anything from England. I do not need you to help no, me with your no, repatriation. No, I, 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 you don't want me I to come back. Want, you don't want me to come back. You can't pay me what? for you, slavery. You, you don't you want me to come back. You will be able to buy me back. Yeah. So I don't want one UK pound. And everybody talking about it's time. And my, I got my lecture upset because I'm actually still studying at University of the West Indies. Yes. I got them mad in a class. I think the teacher stopped teaching when I was there because she was pushing a seminar on 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 blacks and making sure that 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 UK and the motherland pays for the atrocities of slavery. And I said, I don't want a dollar. I'm not interested <laughs> in the oh, seminar. Yeah. I don't I want, I and I'm not you. coming to the seminar. I, I say you. I will never push it on my station on RJR Cleaner. Mm. I will never, never propose. I'm not a proponent of it because you can never pay me for what you did. So it is time for us to rise above it. Stop thinking people owe us. You owe me nothing. Those who oppressed me and my grandparents and my great great grandparents, they are dead. So can we start anew? Can we start afresh? Can we love self, love brother man, rise above skin when you yes. talk black? Don't you know, start me. Elder up. Sin Burn. Elder Sin yes, Burn. Boss. Yes, Miss, sir. Yes. This, this, this lady, Miss Jenny, Mama Jenny, Fire Mama Jenny. <laughs> you, you know, say, I don't know, I feel like I see her already on radio, so, on radio or TV. Yes, I all the time. I know. It is she. It is she. No, I want to make sure that I'm seeing right, Rasta. Because when I look at the face and the smile, I'm mean, say only one person I see with that smile. Yes. She, ev she everywhere. Sometimes she has danced, sometimes. Wow, Majesty, careful. Majesty. We yes, I, we, I hey, definitely have the number now. We yes. shall get, I shall make sure, make the bridges them link up too, because we have some bridges over here. Want to fly to go to Jamaica. Yeah. And anywhere in the world, not just Jamaica, mm. but fly. Just call mm. me if I'm ready to take you. Whether you're black, white, Indian, chief, Syrian, make sure you fly. And that's literal now. We're saying yes. rise. Jenny, rise. Fly rise. Yeah. Um, Jenny. Sorry, please, Jen. Go ahead, Vita, please. Um, I just want to pay utmost respect to you and that yeah. I love you as another queen to a queen that you inspired me and you ignite something tonight. But I, I also want to let the, the audience know that when she was talking and I was um, doing like this, is that in America, it's, it's, a, it's a cultural, it's a black culture when you go to a point and a person is speaking the truth. This is a confirmation that is the truth. And um, yes. it's an American confirmation. So when I was doing this, I just want to say, speak No, we do it here to like... Yeah. <laughs> in America, we say speak the truth, and this is cultural. This is cultural situation that we need to share across the universe. This is how we communicate. Whether it's in the slavery, where we do braids to tell the story, or we do um um whatever situation we use to tell the story. This is a, a, a African. This um, is the Abeng. That's why the Abeng as well. Abeng. So Abeng. Abeng. And these are, these are situations that we need to share to black history to say, hey, let's share the situation. She's speaking the truth. Let's acknowledge and, and say, You know what yes, I think is powerful? Mm. What, what, yes. what I think is powerful when I go to the hotels and, and I'm saying, oh my goodness, no, so poor parents handle it. When you see blacks and whites in mm. the same space yes. like 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 when you come to our vacation spots in jamaica i just think it's just so gorgeous that 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 the white persons colored persons indians chinese because remember you know during slavery it was a deliberate plot and it still is it still is how many chinese are married to blacks how many mm. indians are married to black and we don't even think ourselves worthy to be married or married to them anyways so we'll mm. never, we'll be shocked if a Chinese man look, we talk to it. You're not going to shock if no, a Chinese no, man I'm say, hey, Chinese, I'm you, look Chinese good. Baby, you look like good. You black girl, you look good. Yes, <laughs> I, and, and I keep saying, no, no, no. <laughs> Jenny, Jenny. So, um, so I think it's wonderful that we get yeah. that in our vacation space. Yes. We're all just having whatever color in the same space. Yes, go ahead. Je Jenny, wow. now, it, it is great. It's, it's, great it's, it's great having you on. And um, 
and, and while I was looking at when we spoke about the, the first part of the show with um, Mr. Kari, Kamil, um, Jam, Jamal, and Jamal. with you on, I, I think it's an extension of the said program, yes. which is empowerment of yes. black people. I'm a very positive person. I'm a serial ex posit, uh, positive person. I want to ask you this question. With Jamaica under this sort of cloud with the lockdown, the vaccine, and blah, 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 dashing her vaccine, and people sometimes feel a bit distressed and stressed, what is the, the thing that you you believe can be used to uplift and to sort of cheer up? Because a happy heart and a happy smile sometimes can make work lighter, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. What, 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 what do you say is a message? Answer. I'm going to step out because Gaza want to come in. Mm. So I'm going to step out for a moment so Gaza yes. can you want to yes. answer. Oh, that's on like Cartel. So Cartel in here. Gaza. No, uh, no, well, Lester. It's it Lester. A, gen a gentleman a, called Lester. I only one Gaza more yeah. than a cartel. So anybody a lady named Gaza must be cartel. <laughs> yes. Yeah. If you, if you, if you can. Oh, a different can cartel. Yeah. No, no, no. There's no cartel around it. Yeah, yes. Um, <laughs> Gaza will come in. Let yeah. me tell you, it's, 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 mm. it's a very powerful question you've asked without asking it in a silver brain because mm. we've, we've, we've seen an increase with the number of persons committing suicide in Jamaica. Um, last week when we picked up the paper and in the news we carried how oh, and it's just so strange that all the people are committing suicide usually you don't do that because um well first my parents are pastors and i grew up in the church and i strongly i believe strongly in the word so i'm i'm, I'm one of those anomalies in terms of where my head is i strongly believe that if you commit suicide then then you you, you have compromised your journey on the your other journey side. yeah man. because because word of god talks about the fact that you don't give life, so you shouldn't take it. Whether it be committing a murder, killing self. Um, I don't get to the mercy killing part yet. But there's so many people who are killing self. And I want to talk to somebody who is depressed today. Mm. Because one of the things you got to first do before you look to others to help you is you got to look to self. Um, yes. What is it? When, when, when the COVID started, I mean, as, as, as losing, I'm still I'm losing millions. So we're talking about losing millions. I am. I am. Um, and then and then you have the bank calling. So just like a bank call you, banks call me. How do I mm. not de get depressed? Um, it's easy. I'm not the only one the bank is calling. <laughs> yes. I'm not the only one that's going through a meltdown. I'm not the only one that is feeling the crunch of a pandemic. And then guess what? When I go through half a tree and I see all those vendors tying up them tarpaulin, and not just that, we got... We got the man a pushing cat and a selling Rizla. Mm. And them a laugh and talk. Wow, how they find the time to laugh and talk. When I went to St. Anne last week with, 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 with fancy friends and they brought down 50 barrels for the community. Oh gosh. And people forgot about COVID at that time. Yes. They yes. forgot that somebody else was dying or, or relatives. They were just getting things because Jamaicans from overseas were sending barrels. And I got the member, guess who else? Silver and your yeah. I call Xavier. You know, Xavier's a Yorkist. I used to teach him at mm. York Castle High School, and he's a member of parliament for that section in St. Anne. And he was able to help me because not one truck, I sent one truck for the 50 barrels, and of course, it never happened. So I said, Xavier, I'm broke. I don't have, look here. One school locked down, I need help. And Xavier, God bless Xavier Main, the Yorkist who is also. Um, at, 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 when he's a Yorkist and a member of parliament for the area, he paid for the second truck, the market yes. truck to carry the stuff in. And you should look Bravo. at my page. Look at my Jenny Energizer page. Look at my Jenny Jenny FB page. Look at what it did for community. So those are the different things. So those who are listening, if you can do more, do you have barrels of staying at home, not doing anything because you worked once and you worked for social media? Think of how you're going to change your life. So you've yes. got to change. Now's the time to read more. Now is the time to reinvent self. If it is that you're feeling down, you know, chances are you have a worthless man that's not helping you to feel better. Yes. Or you have a crisis woman where every time you turn and you're watching the dollar, she wants to buy a new hair. She wants to buy clothes on a party now. Keep well, time to do some trimming. And I do mean some trimming. So what I like about COVID is that it is going to have us reinvent self. We're going to have to restructure we're going to mm. have to pass by dildo because it's cheaper than some of the men we got the brothers and buying battery. Yeah, this no buying a battery because some men are cost me more than that. So yes. therefore, 
And if it is you want to just take a shower, hit, hang out with your friend, hold a spliff as long as I'm more two ounces like my brethren. Then if it is you gotta do, <laughs> then you gotta do that during this to make yourself happy. Just you have to make sure you lift yourself. And look for the opportunities, the same phones. Because this is the phone that I use to make money in my travel business. I cannot tell you how, when I look at, at the survey, we have people spending at least survey yes. shows that we spend on average 6.5 hours per day on social media. How yes. much of that is making money? No, that, How that much is, of that? You know, you know, you know there, there's, a, there's a thought about someone I'd mentioned even with the craft market, you know, Curious, that the craft market need to evolve to a point whereby the people from the ship don't even have to walk into the craft market. They should be able to buy them online and pick them up at the pier. <laughs> you yeah. know, that, that is where no, but we is. have that. That's a good idea. I can't tell the minister what you just said. Mm. But we do have people doing that. We have lots of yardies. That's another thing that has happened subsequent is that lots of yardies are online selling. So you don't yes. need to pick it up at the pier. Yes, hey, yes. you know what is the fastest growing business in Jamaica? Delivery. Every other man is starting a courier company. Like a delivery because room. Yard is we're selling stuff and Remember, we're buying that stuff. Still burn. Yes. Like a Yuba eat Yuba thing and stuff like that. Yes. 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 Is jazz black or white? No, this no, this no. It's not jazz. This is South African state of cash. I, 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 oh. I say jazz. Is is my brother? Oh, oh, my, oh, my goodness, guess what? I forgot. Oh no, I just remember that Nigeria's. Oh my, I'm just remember that the Nigerian High Commissioner. She she had us do a dance for her. I'm gonna I'm gonna blast it today. Oh my goodness, today is October two, right? Yes. Yes. I missed it. October one was Nigeria's in um, um Independence. Oh Day. yes, I saw some. Yes, 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 yes. So I'm yes. gonna make sure I blast the dance that we did for them today because you need to get some of that music, brother. I know what you're talking about. So I'm gonna make sure I send you yes all that music I got from Nigeria. I'm gonna send it to you now. Yes, that yes, the yes. The high commissioner sent me. And then I'm going to blast, of course, the dance where we tell them happy, happy Independence Day yes. post. But blessings, I want you to know mm. that COVID is happening. It's not going to go away for the next two, three years. So yes. what's your plan? Those who are not going to school, not improving because you're waiting. That's, that's such a stupid time, stupid mm. way to spend your time. Because we're never going to have back last year. You yes. wasted one whole well, year you waiting advice. for the pandemic. It's not going to another two, three mm. years. So what's your plan for life? You want to pick yourself up, yes, continue yes. to live, wear your mask, go on a vacation, mm. make sure that you ease your head, ease your mind, live Reinvent, life, use the phone, do Duolingo, learn a language, yes. and for God's sake, explore. But make sure that after the yeah. pandemic, you're one of the mm. strongest ones, you're one of the better ones. Yeah. Use this time to invest, do some stocks, yeah. buy something on the stock market, start an industry. Oh, God, you got to fail, but you're going to yeah. die and need the money, anyways. You know, some, all this you know, money yeah. we have. You know, some, yeah. when dead, you know what somebody said? You know somebody said? Yeah. You know somebody said to me one time? If you got a smartphone and you're not making money from it, it's a dumb phone. It's a dumb phone. <laughs> Use it and make money. Call me up and I'll show you how to make money using your smartphone. Yeah. Burn, bless you. Bless you. With this place. Bless <laughs> you. Yeah, right. I'm right. in course, shock. I you know, no answers too much thing, and I'm in shock. You know, long I'm watching your TV for my I can't even believe. Send me a see you on live God. right now. Bless up. Bless up. Ja, ja, I have ja, some music course, for you by the grace Lord. of Ja in future. Me have Bless some. Me have some music for you the, by the grace in the future. Yeah, you know, look up to that one. Good, no, send it, you know. Silver, mm. tell him, say, I don't, watch don't, this. don't send it to It's for good. I my voice mash up, you know? Because we just do a little single, little while. Otherwise, Muda say, yeah. Everybody has sing back, but the bad you think. What happened to the good you did? That's right. That's right. Everybody has sing back, the bad you think. What happened to the good you did? was at 12. Yes. What about 12 or so people on? I see we move up to 33 and 34. So big up to those big who up. not only join us but stayed. Bless yes. things, man, and yes. keep smiling. Keep smiling. Thank you.
Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, Jenny, so much. Love, love. And see you around. Big up your kiss. Yes, sir. Yes. Boom. <laughs> okay. Boom. Well, ladies, Listen, no. Jabish, Jabish, stay there for a second. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining tonight. And um, uh, remember to, to like and follow Silburn Show. Jabish, what you talked about tonight and the Black History Factor? Mm hmm. What's, I what's your joy, final... man, because at least now, ja people can understand the reality mm -hmm. and stop yes. following the laba laba and the media and the propaganda. Yes. See? Yes. I think it's time for us to now do this now. Identify. See? Because mm. you see, if we do that, we conquer all. If we can't yes. do that, we fall. Yes. See? Black History Month, as I say, like our elders say, Black History Month should be celebrated, celebrated every day. Because mm. if you every look, day. let it look right, we read about. Yeah, man. Yes. Respect. See you around. All the time, Elder. All the best, Javish. Bless you. Thank Bless you. it, Lord. Thanks. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me tonight and uh, very interesting discussion um, from all the different guests who have came in. Um, thank you so much for, um, first of all, I just need to pick up Karim Jamal, the voice of black folk in unexpected places. Remember to tune into the show. London, October the 8th and 9th. Birmingham, 14th and 15th. Edmonton, October the 20th and 21. And um, Tuesday night, we're going to have a show with him on Silver and TV and YouTube and Facebook as well. And uh, thank you so much for Vita for coming on. Vita will post the books on the Facebook page, Talk and Sip. Remember to like and subscribe to like the Talk and Sip page, like and subscribe to Silver and TV. Follow myself every Saturday night. We have a show here and uh, listening to some nice, um, what music I call it, Sweet Corn by Theta Cash, all the way from South Africa. It's good. It's a Sunday morning now in the UK. Rest time. Check out my walk and talk in the morning. Have a good night. God bless you. Thank you for Jody and as well. Thank you for um, Gaza out today. Uh, Vita, um, D. Marie, um, Jenny, Jenny, bring up the fire and the light. Remember, you tune in. Your, your details are right there. 876 220 9638. Man, as you get older, your eyes get better. 876 220 9638. Follow her, check her, ladies and gentlemen. Over and out, talking sick. Saturday night. Peace out. Boom. Thank you also for all the guests who came on. <laughs>